Here you see a classic architecture of a data warehouse solution. The first step is extract from the different sources we have. Then we transform the data probably as part of a SQL database and then we load the data and make it available to all the different consumers. This is how we have been doing and building solutions for many, many years, this ETL data flow. Then a couple of years ago, we introduced a new layer to the architecture. So the architecture actually become an ELT. We introduced load before the transformation to support the schema on a right and also to support many different data types uh, in our transform part. Probably loading the data to a data lake before transforming it. We still have the load to be able to uh, make the, it available to consumers. But then Microsoft came in and renamed this architecture. So now it's actually called ingest, it's called store, it's called prepare, and then serve. So now we have ESPS architecture instead of ETL or ELT. But you know what? It's completely the same as always. We have extract, we have load, we have transform, and then we load it again and make it available to the consumer. So nothing new here, but just new names. ESPS, ingest, store, prepare, serve.